Hello, hello. Well, hello there. Welcome to another edition of Paranormal Cryptic Conspiracies. Hello, Rebecca. Standing Stones. How's everybody doing? What do you say there, Chris? What's up, Mr. Grizzly? Happy Monday to you. That is correct. <laughs> happy Monday, isn't it? What's that? It's a happy Monday, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's Monday. <laughs> Mondays are Mondays. I mean, we got great witch. You get four uh, Mondays on a Friday. Corner. So, Brian, Standing Stones. Yeah. Science, Science Bob's in the house. Very cool. Interesting uh, subject we we're going to talk about tonight, isn't it? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. There's always interesting stuff going Hello, on. Hello, Roger. What did you think about that footprint that uh, Mr. Stone shared with us? The one in the snow? Before we go to that subject. That was interesting. What do you think about that? What you... That was interesting. I'll have to share that one. You, well, you might as well go ahead and share it because, yeah. you know, I mean, we're talking about it. They're very, very yeah. surprised what, no, what, what footprint. Yeah. I mean, they sent it to me and I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm out. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> there ain't no way in hell. After seeing something like that, are you crazy? So now, if I would have saw that out in the so they actually uh, made me talk about uh, my incident that I told you about on Sunday show with Val. Now look at that. So yeah, yeah what, the, what the heck is that? Ter no, pterodactyl. Thank you. Pterodactyl. <laughs> a, a raptor. <laughs> Dog man. Where Whatever that uh, is, like that. Uh, Grizzly does not want any part of. Brian, yeah. uh, you would have probably then needed some new uh, overalls. I can guarantee you that. And a lot more ammo. So, yes. I don't know what the heck that is. But so, that was pretty, pretty, pretty insane. Yeah, so uh, they made me talk about what well, they make me la 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 and 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 Brian and uh, Science Bob and everything. Everybody, welcome to everybody the show. So what they make you uh, talk about? About the, what the the Three Stooges I call them. The one I told you where I had to park my car and run and go look. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. So Val yep. was like, well, hmm, let's see here. <laughs> so. How tall is the grass from your navel? And I was like, I was like, well, I don't know. I was like, about four to five minutes. Well, I'm raced out and pulled out a tape measure. And I was like, damn, I was like 48 inches. You know, sitting down. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, then we start doing some math. And I was like, man. And it really must start really made me even think even more. And I told him I what really made me think more about anything was seeing that one on Facebook on the side for profile of sitting in the woods. So and then they're like, you know, I showed the picture I showed you, and people were like, look, 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 check out, look, 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 look in the bush. So uh, I went back and pulled my cam footage because I got two uh, car in car be cam, cam be cam vehicle cords. ones. Nice. Yeah, both of them did it? not record. Uh -huh. Now what, what the are hell? the what are the odds of that? Right. So people are are sitting there on the show. And thank you, thank you, yes, thank you. And and they're like Tammy Johnson is like sending me, me like, and I'm like, are you like you? And Val's like, and Val got his magnifying glass out like Dick Tracy, and this thing was like <laughs> eight inches in circumference, right? And he's like, bro, he's like, let me tell you something. I see black things in bushes. I'm like, are you all like pulling my leg? 
And I'm like, dude, I'm, I was just trying to show my buddy Chris what this road looked like because, you know, believe it or not, this is a ditch. Right. Yes, the ditch. We're already that, in the ditch. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, but anyways, so that was my story. And, uh, but he really put a spin. And then, 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 then we started getting pictures. Look at here. And look. And they started blowing it up. And it's like, man, it's like, is this paradoia? I mean, they all really fine and stuff. I was like, I was just taking a picture. It's all just taking a picture. <laughs> so that one picture you showed me of where it was, they're saying they're finding stuff in it. Yeah. What the heck? That's what I said. Wouldn't surprise me. So no, no. I know, man. So I don't know. Was, I don't know. But anyways, so what are we talking <laughs> about tonight? Well, that weird, strange phenomena that is of uh, cattle mutilation, right? We've, a lot yes. of people have heard about this, and it's just a weird thing. And there's a lot of speculation out there what it is. Um, so I did a little digging, a little research. I've researched a little bit of it before. Um, it was pretty, pretty stunned about how kind of widespread it is and just the facts behind it are extremely mysterious. It, it makes damn near zero sense, but it's happening, you know, a lot of finger pointing at what's going on, but it's, I, I, I don't know. Well, we'll look at some of the stuff that we've got here and, uh, see what we can come up with. Now, you know, this phenomenon, you all, is it didn't just start up. So, this no. has actually been going on for some time. No, they've so, had, they, there's documents that are all the way back in like the 1600s, 1700s. Yeah, 1800s. so so don't, don't think of this as happening just in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, uh, that's just because the media, you know, because people were just really, you know, we were like, hey, well, yeah. So now I did keep it pretty clean. I mean, there, there's some pretty somewhat gruesome pictures out there. Um, if you guys are really interested in it, um, go find the Tucker Carlson um special on it he does a pretty good coverage on it and i've taken some of my information from that but yeah um, that far back brian yes I, I didn't uh i didn't put anything super graphic in here but i do have some pictures just to give some general idea so i kind of stayed away from the ones that were a little, little gruesome but uh and those are towards the end so if, just to let you know there are some if you're not comfortable with it might not be the show for you but i tried like i said i try to keep clean so what's the weird weird about these things, right? Cattle mutilation, who cares? A bunch of dead cows, people killed cows, what is it? So a lot of these things have no footprints leading up to it. Predator people or just mutilated cow. No signs of vehicle tracks. Very, very seldom is there any kind of evidence of anything disturbed around them. So there's no bones scattered majority of them won't be ripped apart like a vultures or you know scavengers or predators of any kind going to it before or after so usually even after an animal dies we know vultures will come in and any kind of scavenger will come in and start ripping things apart right these things will sit for weeks on end untouched well, if, if you stop and think, look at Skinwalker Ranch. They had one set out there for over a year. It's exactly the same thing. Yep. I mean, they won't, usually they won't touch it, period. So another weird thing is meat butchers, and I'll show you more and explain why, but meat butchers say they cannot replicate cuts that are made in the field. These things are being cut in a, like a surgical precision. They find the, the blood drained. So something's cutting them out in the field and not leaving this drop of blood. And then there are some cases where there are things inside the cows that have been tested. They've found barbiturates, anticoagulants, mescaline, 
and potassium cyanide, which is what's used to kill people in jail when they put them to, you know, sentence them to death. So that's kind of weird, though, to find these things in them. One of the first famous cases is in 1967, and the death uh, death on the Great Sand Dunes, the strange case, Snippy the Horse, which is actually named Lady. It was one of those uh, media errors that they just took it and ran with it, and that being Snippy after that. And it's actually a horse, but even though it falls into the uh, same category as the cattle mutilation, because kind of all the same things happened. And this was in Colorado. We'll go into this a little bit, so... You can see, talk about Snippy. She was tore apart. A lot of her front end was removed, skin, a lot of her neck. So this one, the story of the valley. Um, let's see, we skip part of that. There was strange, strange lights in the sky. So there were some associations to that. Um, Harry King left his humble ranch in search of Lady, which is his three-year-old mare. His mother noted that. She'd not mosey back to the ranch for a few days for water. And then they went and looked for her, and they found Lady, most of her anyways, laying on her side with her neck stripped bare to the bone, and the cuts were incredibly clean, surgical even. You're going to see this repeat. The fact of that um, led Harry to believe that the Lady wasn't simply the victim of a coyote or other local predator. He noted that there was no blood on the scene, and a series of strange burns on the ground and a strong medicinal smell hanging in the air, right? So local sheriff blew it off the ordeal and said it was a lightning strike and never bothered even to visit the ranch. Hmm. Pretty, pretty wild story. So um, there was a doctor that had been seeing some, I think he wrote some stories about seeing UFOs in a park park ranger found out about it so they contacted the doctor because they knew he was uh, an expert in blood so and he had studied blood coagulation and he made him come out and take a look at it it kind of kind of forced him to because they found out that he was in the park when he wasn't supposed to be it was more of a deal than anything um so being uh, the weird situation um he agreed to come take a look at it when he arrived at the body, he recalls being amazed by what he saw. The animal's lungs, heart, thyroid, completely missing, removed in some of the cleanest cuts he'd ever seen. At the edges, the sly skin was deep black in color, and even stranger to him, his unbelievable lack of blood in the scene. It's another reoccurring theme you'll see. He says, I can't if I can see that or not kind of covering up oh. Dang it. it says I've done hundreds of autopsies and you can't cut a body with getting in some blood there was no blood on the skin or the ground no blood anywhere outer edges of the skin were cut firm and almost as if they've been cauterized by a laser it can't I can't see some of that but it's pretty much what it states so he was frightened of being discredited and he just couldn't get him. he couldn't get over it so he's convinced that he had seen a horse that had been ex experimented on by complex equipment furthermore he was beginning to believe that his demise was related to lights that he'd seen in the sky because he knew later on they realized that that technology with the lasers wasn't even available for us right he didn't know at that time but they come down the line they they realized it so and sure enough, so some of those th same thoughts were shared by a King family. Harry's 87-year-old mother had seen strange objects flying over her house on the day of Lady's disappearance. So it's it's going on out there. There's there's a lot of times there's UFOs and other things that are happening um, along these phenomena, right? And then they actually. A guy came out from the United States Forest Service with a Geiger counter, and he's discovered that there's a pulse of unusual high radioactivity roughly two city blocks away from the lady's body. That's pretty wild, right? Yeah, it is. And you can see how just, just laser cutting. No blood, 
just pretty wild. So her her body is her skeletons put in a museum somewhere at this point in time. Here's just some general stuff I found 1974 Nebraska. It's hard to read this one, but um, there's some livestock helicopters or um, unauthorized helicopters or identified flying objects have residents wandering and worrying in the, the area. Doors are locked and guns are loaded. This was the fifth animal killed and mutilated in the county. Four head of cattle have been found <laughs> with their organs cut out, additional steer. It's a one eye, one ear, something about its mouth and tongue chopped off. You'll hear a lot of that tongue, tongue removed type of stuff. 1973 and 74, Nebraska. During the past three years, more than 1,500 cattle in 22 states had been killed and mutilated. Their bloods drained, selected organs removed with surgical precision. Again, right? Suspects range from satanic cultists to government researchers. Here's some that FBI actually have on their site, and you, you'll find things. This is also another thing you'll find. Sometimes they will find the cattle with crushed bones, like on one side specifically, almost as if it was lifted and then just dropped. A lot of times the cut side is up, but not always. They've actually found a couple of them where it's face down. But to crush a bunch of the bones, the way they, they say it's literally as if it's been dropped from the air. So this is dropped by some type of aircraft north of the ranch house. And the rectum sex organs have been removed by sharp, precise instruments. Yeah, it's, and it goes on. It talks about more stuff. This is part of that same research on that FBI. This that they talk about has been dismembered by some kind of strange witchcraft cult. Yeah, pretty talented. Wait something. Pretty talented witchcraft cult. It was Madison, um, Texas, Madison County, and they were also been called out. This was actually 2023. Six-year-old long horde cross cow had been found laying on her side to see some mutilated on the ranch. There's a straight clean cut. Um, it has precision cuts in here. I, I got circled over. So they removed the hide from the cow's mouth on one side, leaving the meat under and removed hide untouched. The tongue was completely removed from the body with no spill of blood. Just crazy how it keeps going, like the same thing over and over. It is noted that there is no signs of struggle in the grass around the cow is undisturbed, no footprints, tire tracks noted in the area. Another one. Ranchers reported that no predators or birds would scavenge the remains of the cow, leaving it to decay untouched for several weeks. So, and there's five other similar ones involving four adult cows and one yearling reported along the area that was going on as well. So this is the kind of that blown in. So straight clean cut, cut with apparent precision had been made to remove the hide around the cow. So I kind of already read that part. Ranchers also reported no predators, scavenged for several weeks, as mentioned. That's all the same. All right. The, let's see. First, there's no sense trouble with disappearance. Yeah, it's all the same one. So here's another one I, I found. 2013. This was actually a sheriff from writing a book. Silas after truth about the cattle mutilation so that's out there if anybody's interested go read it but compelling enough for a sheriff to come forward and talk about it i didn't get to read that yet but i'm definitely interested in that one five bulls found dead in oregon story gets weird here you can see the genitals were removed precision cuts first dead bull was found in a Timbered Raven in East Ravine in uh, Oregon. 
No indication of being shot, attacked by predators, or eaten poisonous plants. And the sex organs were removed. And the blood was gone. We've seen this before. After cattle mutilation, Delta Junction Ranchers put up $2,500 reward. So they've lost cows so many times that they've actually put up a reward to catch whoever. It got bad enough at one time in the 70s where the FBI actually postponed any flights via helicopter, worried about being shot down by ranchers. So mid-70s, it got really bad. There was like 1,500 cases at least throughout the U.S. All right. Six cattle found dead in three Texas counties with all their tongues missing. Some of these reoccurring themes. Here's a weird one. We got all the way in France. Ten cases reported from beginning of the year. So August, there was mystery, mysterious horse killings in France. I didn't get a chance to read any more on that, how they're killed or how similar, but they tied it to here's U.S. thousands of cows murdered since the 70s. So they tied it to the, the cow mutilation. So it makes me feel like there might be some kind of correlations, right? Even in the Mothman Prophecies books, they talk about it a little bit. Air yeah, horses dying suddenly, mysteriously, usually surgical like incisions through the throats, animals disappearing, and death go hand in hand, a UFO phenomenon. Some believe the cattle's drained of blood, no human tracks detected around them. So here's they're talking about dogs even disappearing. So I don't know if that's just something else going on there or if it's tied to it. My grimmer memories in the 60s, time I knelt in farm fields, examined dead animals, particularly dogs who had suffered amazing clean and expert cuts. The deaths were not localized, but came in nationwide waves simultaneously with UFO waves. This pattern has been repeated since. And there's just an example of these cuts going on. Sometimes their eyes. There's, yeah, one of them I'll show you. Pretty crazy here. There's just like a lot of times they go for genitals. Sometimes it'll it'll open them up and take a lot different stuff. Um, here's an example. It's crazy. All these flies on this carcass, they're all dead. Flies are all over it, but they're not alive. And that was what was recorded. And that one was mutilated genital removed that is the same same cow here's one that had been cleaned out um had all the organs removed and this just proves that animals not tearing it apart because it's decayed to the point where it's just nothing but hides and bone normally something like that obviously you just be torn to shreds, right? Coyotes right. or whatever. And here's an example of what happens to a lot of them. Just completely just laser like tongue gets removed. None of the blood is spilled. Pretty crazy. This one was an interesting case where the whole the vertebrae was completely removed. All the organs were removed except for the heart and the liver, which is usually the first two things that a predator will go for when they're tearing apart an animal. The brain was removed and the skull remained intact. It was pulled from the, the backside. So what, they didn't crack the cranium. Somehow, all, so that's just the craziest thing. Tongue was removed. Very insane. All organs except for liver and heart removed. No blood, no vertebrae, no brain, but cranium left intact. That's it. So what do you think about that? Well, it's a phenomenon that's been going on for a long time. And it's strange on how the carcass, it goes untouched. And it's not claimed by Mother Nature or other wild animals. 
that's the strange part of it because usually as a previous hunter when you go out and hunt or harvest an animal usually there are signs that you have taken game right but no signs of evidence of any of the lack of blood and so forth but just the precision, precision. and everything yeah the the no blood it does so. it look, look looks looks like a laser mm -hmm. And I mean, and I, there's endless of those pictures out there, and there's all kinds of different cases. And there's obviously something a little more gruesome, but um, Tucker, Tucker Carlson's special that he did on it, they have some guys in the slaughterhouse actually try to mimic doing some of those cuts, and they couldn't do it. They said it's, it's impossible just using knives and doing it, you know, human style. I'll be out in the middle of a field in the middle of the night with lasers trying to, <laughs> trying to dissect a, a cow or anything, but they just said that it was basically almost humanly impossible to even try to pull off some of the stuff that they did. So pretty wild. Yeah. I mean, the whole, the fact that there's no blood is pretty amazing. I mean, the whole phenomenon in general, just makes you scratch your head. I, I personally think UFOs have something to do with it. Obviously, there's a lot of UFO sightings that, that come around the times. Uh, maybe South Park was right. <laughs> if you ever watch South Park episodes, there's always UFOs and cows. <laughs> but uh, pretty, pretty wild. I mean, they, they don't have too many, too many explanations of it. There's a story on one of them that the uh, I think that sheriff uh, wrote the book. Um, they had also, I don't know if he was involved in it or whatever, but they would actually be watching the air traffic control at some points in times and told by guys dressed all in black to, uh, you know, step outside for a while. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, go go outside. You don't need to be in the <laughs> doing your job for a minute. Makes you wonder what the hell they're hiding there. But yeah, so he he talks about some of that stuff. But, but the trend though too is certain parts of the anatomy, right? That's what's strange. Anatomy, and it doesn't. I mean, sometimes it varies. Sometimes it's the tongue and the anatomy. Sometimes just anatomy. Sometimes it's just the tongue. Sometimes it's a few of the organs and it's, it's they're not always consistent but it seems like when they are consistent in an area they seem to be consistent on the way that they're done like there's five or six of them in an area in a recent time they're all done similar where across the board throughout the years there's variations but the tongue is very common that's almost like a a guaranteed part it's removed. Maybe cow, cow tongue is a delicacy in the uh, alien world. <laughs> I, I, I know they sell them at the local grocery store. I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I know they. I, I know they sell them there. Yeah, there are certain ethnicities that will that will partake in eating that. And I think I tried it accidentally one time, and it was not my 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 uh, favorite. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I would I wouldn't uh, call it a delicacy. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a delicacy, that's for sure. Really? Yeah, I was at a restaurant in Vegas and I was just like, what the hell's that? Let me try that. I'm trying to find something. Uh I saw something today and uh I was like, you gotta be joking. I was like, now I'm not going to say what it is until I can find the video. Uh, let's see here. And this is what made me think of uh, of uh, Uh, 
Let me see if this is it. Standing Stone says, I have seen hundreds of operations in the OR, and none are as good as those. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And the radiation around some of them. Oh, they even did that in Skinwalker Ranch on the one that they found dead over there. At the yeah, the it series. was over a year. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were getting blasted with radiation on the Geiger counter. To the point where they deemed it was unsafe and they all bolted out of there. So that's pretty wild. Uh, that's not a good one to look at. Let me see if I can find a good one. Yeah, I don't think Bigfoot's tied to cattle mutilation, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd agree, Roger. I think there's some kind of experiment involved in in some of it. But something picks them up and drops them sometimes. That's that's pretty wild. I mean without seeing a, a helicopter doing it and hearing it. And it's pretty wild. Let me see if this will work. And I think I muted it. Let me unmute it and let me share my screen. All right. I saw this today and this may... Nope. I clicked on another total button. Hope I don't lose you all. Let me share my screen now. Let me go back. Oh, hit another button. Hold on. Because I was, this reminded me about the show today. Get this. Why am I getting these pop ups? Rebecca, I agree. Dead flies are probably a warning to other wildlife. Do not consume. I mean, they won't. Most wildlife won't touch it. And that, that's pretty wild. Pretty interesting fact. All right. Here, present. Share screen. Let me make sure I hit the audio on this one. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I can't see. Is it is it up? That's it. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, I did see this. Sapping trees. I like the sound effects. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they are cutting trees uh, with a laser. Mm -hmm. Look how thick that is. Mm -hmm. Imagine that's a head. <laughs> so, uh, there's the laser, and uh, they're pointing it at the ground, and uh, they got a, a computer where they're looking at a telescope or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, they point it at the base and hit a button and whack it. And it's cut, zaps it. So, I can see that being used in military warfare, right? Hey, uh, <laughs> Brian, run! Here comes Godzilla! <laughs> Help! <laughs> that was my but, favorite. But you know, it just day. goes to show. You know, I'm just saying there are things out there, technology-wise. That we don't know, right? And I don't know. It, it it's just awful strange that this has been going on for a lot of years, and and it's not just from the sixties or seventies. Like Chris says, it goes back longer than that. But it's not. I, I've got. I found reports as early as August the third and ninth of this this month. Wow. Of cattle mutilations, but. It's not making the media. Why is that? 
you know, now back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, it was the cult, and people practiced witchcraft and everything else, and and it was easier to you know, sell that, and people would just buy it, and oh, that's what it is. So you know, now now things are a little more open, especially when they're you're sitting here trying to admit that UFOs exist, and it might be them screwing around with stuff. Who knows? Yeah, they got nano drones, for example. Yeah, when they first told me they got nanos technology to put, a, you know. Uh, microchips on uh, brain cells. I was like, oh, that already happened. We're already past that. If they're already telling us that, yeah, we are. We're we're past that. They're they're threading DNA. So, yes, we're past that. But my my question is, is that what are they? What's the purpose, right? What is the purpose behind them doing this? Because it's it's got to be they. Uh, I don't think it's our government because if it was the government, then it would it would have happened in the thirties or forties or fifties. Well, it goes into the speculation of the good and the bad aliens, and the uh, the real aliens versus the government aliens is what we know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's it's an experiment if it's what it is to be honest with you it's a really it's a really weird phenomena and it don't happen a lot but it happens when it does it, they'll do a series of them and it's usually onesie twosies and they're scattered around sometimes they'll do five or six in an area and then it's gone and then it's off to another area it's, it's weird the, the randomness and the rhyme and reason for it makes me feel like it could be just straight up aliens or whatever. You know what I mean? Kind of like crop circles could appear out of nowhere and sort of random. Is this what they eat? Is this why we have so many missing people in the world? Maybe tongues make cow tongues make their engines go around. You know, like <laughs> look, I mean, look, look, look at shark fin soup, right? You know, and so, really good for you. so I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, it, Brian, my cows and horses, it, it's not. Uh, I think Grizzly is right. It's not, not a G-Man really. I don't think it is because it goes back mm -hmm. so far. Now, yeah. th and that's the reason why I say it's not a G-Man related. Now, that's that's right. That's the reason why I say I don't think it is. The report I read in 1600s was about hundreds of sheep had been, they were being mutilated, which was interesting. So it's not necessarily just cows, um, but it does seem to strike the, the mode. You know, you hear more about the cows than anything, but the horses, we, we find horses mutilated. Um, some of them are just torn apart. Which I don't know. Maybe that's tied to hungry Bigfoot. I don't know. Uh, there's there's situations of Florida. We we hear some that'll go missing or get completely mutilated, and those make you wonder what's going on with that. Uh, and uh, also, uh, mm -hmm. Nanoball says, "Why take animal parts when they can take humans anytime from anywhere?" And uh, who and they says do. they don't? They don't <laughs> They got, uh oh, did I not read it, dogs? I had a pop up come up in the middle of it. I don't know why I'm getting pop ups anywhere. Any, well, who says they're not doing both? You know, and that, that's for, for worm trimmers, <laughs> worm trimmers, right? <laughs> right. But, but my thing though is if, if you stop and think about it, you know, there are a lot of this that's going on today that farmers cattle ranchers do not want people to know about do not want the media attention so what do they do they get their tractors out just and like they did at skinwalker ranch and they drug that cattle out to the other end of the ranch and left it there and let the sea of nature would do its thing and it didn't so it's just, but, it's just so, it's so weird. So many different things, so many different elements to it between the blood, 
some of them being lifted up. There's no tracks around them. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you don't point to the UFOs and say that's got to have something to do with it. But why is the big question. But when it comes to people, I, I mean, first off, if somebody was found mutilated like that surgically, I don't know if that would get out either, would it? You know, Roger, I don't think I don't, I don't know, came across many reports about wildlife since you mentioned that. No, it's been it's been stuff for herd ranch. ranches yeah. herd and in animals like you know dogs and and like he said cattle cattle not cattle but animals on ranches, not like bears, elk, and moose. So. That is strange, since you brought that up and trying to make a comparison. Or maybe so, the, but, the wild ones aren't found readily enough. I, I, I don't know. You, you know, cattle ranchers are more likely to stumble across their mutilated animal than a random wild deer out in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? Because you don't, they don't have the human presence there. So it could be happening that we just don't have as much documentation or anything about it you know if i found something like that out in the middle of the woods i don't know if i didn't say anything to anybody it just well, what happened there but you know just keep on going but that could be part of the issue or reason but it's definitely definitely recorded on the on the farm side for sure and domesticated animals as well that's what i was trying to say yes you know dogs but I didn't, once again, I didn't see any pictures of dogs, but yeah. yeah, you're right. What is the purpose? So, you know, I mean, we know uh, that I was just about to bring that up, Rebecca. Uh, we are DNA match for pigs. We're they're starting to use the kidneys. Uh, they already use uh, other organs for from the pigs. Uh that was my thought, Chris, that they could be wild animals and no humans to find them. That that could be a possibility, too. You got Brian, I mean, maybe he is right. But as many as hunters that are out there in, in the wild, I don't know. Could be. Could be. Or would they say something about it? I don't know. There'd be less chances of it, of it being found, but yeah, I'm sure... Some would, some would have been found. I just don't know how many would have ever been documented. That's a good point, though. But it's or, weird that it's stuff that, you know, we usually consume, right? Besides the horse. Rebecca, maybe pigs are uh, um, against their religion. <laughs> I don't know. I never hear about pigs, though. That's a good point. DNA match, wouldn't they go for pigs? National Geographic slacking, slacking, <laughs> cracking. Reminds me some pork rinds now. So someone asked Google why why do they do it? Why well, ask Alexa? Alexa, why does UFOs do cattle mutilations? From youthfacebook.com. Over the years, several theories have been expounded to explain the mutilations, including UFOs, satanic cults pranksters, unknown government agencies, or natural predators. Pranksters, satanic cults. Government agencies. Yeah. She and didn't UFOs. even say UFOs, did she? Yeah. Did she say or UFOs? UFOs? Yeah, she said UFOs. So, yes. And it functioned for uh, over 30-something days now. 30-something, yes. Brain dead human. Yes. 32 days or 33 days, I think. Bacon so, did you know animal. you can get uh, bacon from Amazon in the slab? Ooh. You cut it yourself. Hold on, I got to make an order. Yes, and <laughs> it's really good. But, anyways, but you know. You know when I when I talked to Russ, the the you you UFO guy in in UK about it, you know about uh, mutilations and stuff, and 
you know, everybody says the same thing. Nobody has an answer. It, it, it's not like we got an encyclopedia we can go to and just look it up. You know, I would love to understand why. Brian's yeah. like, sorry, I ate your spirit animal for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Brian. Well, it was weird as the um, um, lady, the one that's, what do you call her? I can't remember her, her nickname now, but lady, the horse, the first one they found, they basically got all the way back to United States Air Force, which was part of the, tied to the UFO, you know, investigating team. And they end up saying, oh, the horse just got a, an infection and it died and animals tore it apart. It, it was like the lamest synopsis that they could come up with. It was just not even close. And after that other doctor was saying, hey, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And they come in and their experts take over. Oh, yeah, it was just a, 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 an infection and it died and makes no sense. Now, Funny how never, they cover stuff up because they don't want to, they don't want people to know. No, they you're, don't right. Know themselves. you're right. Now, you remember that picture I sent you, that road, right? Me driving down that road. Now, to the left used to be uh, John Clark, Joe Clark's farm. And uh, he owned the rock quarry up in the city. And uh, we used to camp out on that farm when he had a lot of cattle. Now, Bobby and I, which was his grandson, we saw a lot of strange lights in the sky when we were kids. Now, he had a lot of cattle. Now... Had he ever had any of his cattle like that? I don't know. I would love to find uh, Bobby and ask him or his family to find out. Uh, because there's been several nights, you know, we would go up to the ponds and we would catch snapping turtles. And we would, we would tie uh, lines to the trees and those big fish hooks. And we will use chicken and whatnot and and camp around the ponds. And when the tree branches would shake, we knew that we had either a big catfish or a snapping turtle. Right. And we used to give the, the turtles to the poor people on the other side of the neighborhood growing up. And they would make <laughs> turtle soup. <laughs> oh. Uh, turtle soup yeah but anyways never had turtle soup i heard th some good things about it but i don't know they say it's I, good I never tried but i hey once you see them clean the turtle no <laughs> Dude, <I'm good. laughs> no no not that appealing, huh? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. No, they did it in the front yard. I'm like, dude, that's why there's a backyard, you know? <laughs> and uh, and, and I told Bobby, is like, we go swimming in this pond, and we're catching these turtles, like, you know, yay big around, snapping turtles, you know? But we did. We, we saw a lot of strange things in the sky. Now, you know, at the time, the airport did not fly over like it does now. Now, the airport now, when it when the planes come in, certain paths of the UPS, the certain times of the night, you'll see them circling and mm -hmm. coming in to, to make the turn to come into Louisville. So uh, I know because when I grew up, they had the Air Force Base here. And they end up getting rid of the Air Force Base because all the jet planes, too much noise, noise pollution. Because they would come out in the country, you know, not even 10 minutes outside of Louisville, and they did the sonic booms. Yeah. You know, and it damn <laughs> sounded like the damn house would explode, and the mm -hmm. windows would rattle, and rattle. we thought the yeah. glass would break. Yeah. So... And if you never lived around a base, ladies and gentlemen, with jet planes, it is wild. It is loud. So, or near an airport with jet planes, you know, 
fighter planes when I'm talking about. They would do it sometimes off the coast of Florida. Um, sometimes they'd get, they'd, get a, they'd get a little too close. <laughs> Is that the turtle call? <laughs> yeah. So I actually reached out to Turtle Man like two or three months ago. And uh, to get him on the show. And he never, he never checks his YouTube thing. So he used to be really active. Lola's laughing. But uh, he used to he used to be really active. I know he's getting older now. So, but he he was a big thing here in in Kentucky. I mean, he had his own show. Man, no matter what kind of creature it was, he would go out and catch it. He would jump in the pond and he'll get that turtle, and he would fill it with his feet. Oh my God, he was crazy. Well, he had a snapping turtles. Down here, you wouldn't do that with an alligator snapper. Now we got them up here, alligator snappers. Those things are mean. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You mess with one of them. So, but uh, <laughs> y'all crack me up. <laughs> Made me do that. No offense, Turtle Man, if you're watching this. I know I didn't do it right. <laughs> He's probably like Grizzly. You got to get it deeper from the gut. But uh, yeah, he's crazy. But uh, he is. He, he's he's getting up there. He's getting older. I know he still does some events and stuff. But uh, but uh, but we we did. We actually saw stuff since since uh, you know thinking about that picture because uh, further down that road we used to sled on the farm. Uh, further down that when you go through that S curve, we used to take our sleds. And we used to go sledding because there was a big hill. Mm -hmm. And my mom and dad used to get mad because back then everybody had candles in the house when you lost power. And back then the sleds we, were made out of wood and metal. And ladies and gentlemen, you would take that, that candle and the rails on the sleds and you would Wax take it. And, yeah, yeah, buddy. Wax and boil. When you hit that ice, it would be like. Whoosh. Yep. So yeah, so yeah. my mom and dad be like, "You take those candles, boy." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. But uh, but no, and I and I, 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 learned, I learned a long time ago. If you're ever riding multiple on a sled, never ride on top. Because when you wipe out, you're the first one. It's going to be face planted in the ice. Man, that hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ice isn't friendly. No. Especially man, when it's cold. cold. Because I tell you, when it's cold, it hurts even way more. It's like hitting yeah. a baseball bat yeah. when it's yeah, cold so, outside. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Roger. He's uh, he's he's getting older. He, he's a good guy. Him and his woman, you know, he does more. Uh, conventions now than anything and stuff, but but man, since you said that, it really brought back memories about Bobby and I. Now, now I think about Bobby McGee song, uh, about uh, stuff uh, 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 up on this farm because his farm probably I would say it was probably 16, 1800 acres or more. Dang. And it went all down that side of the road. And if you went backwards where I took that picture, right? There's a stop sign. You can go left or right. And I ain't going to say the name of the road. But he owned all that land. And all the way up in his farm, if you took a right up on the hill was his farm. He owned all that land across the road, too. So it was, it was a pretty good farm. And uh, I got uh, Bobby, and this is when Bobby introduced me to electric fence. And uh, Bobby like <laughs> touch it, and I'm like I ain't touching that electric <laughs> fence. And he like touch it, see if it's on. Well, I didn't know. Hello, La La, welcome to the show. I didn't know that at the time. This is how young I was. We were squirrel hunting that it pulsated. So I'm going to touch it. Nothing happened. I was like, well, hell, I'm crossing this damn thing. So I go to cross it, and boy, it, it knocked the fire out of me. Man, I got wrapped <laughs> up in it. He he was on the ground in the dirt laughing. <laughs> it was like every five or seven seconds I got zapped. 
My shotgun was wrapped up in it. Man, I wet myself. And he's like, I'm screaming for help. <laughs> so, yeah, I started to hit the like button. Boy, you did. You triggered a lot of memories from my childhood just thinking about that. Thank you. I'll make sure and hit the banner there, La La. Don't forget to like, subscribe, <laughs> and give us some love there. Thank you, La La. Oh, I yeah, Rhonda, up. I did more than that. I, 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 I was so mad at him, man. I shot his green silo with seven and a half bird shot like three times. And he laughed at me. And he's like, what is that going to do? We was like 120 yards away from it. When you heard it, it sounded like sawdust hitting the damn mm -hmm. side of the silo. <laughs> Didn't do anything. But, man, I was all wet, urinated myself. <laughs> Sounds like no, it, it, it was it was cranked too. So then I was introduced you backhanded defense. That way, if it's on, let me get my hand in the camera. So if you, you backhand you, defense, you don't grab. You're 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 right. Your hand closes where you're not grabbing the fence. See, when I did it, I did it this way, and each time I hit it in the right time. See, I was like mm -hmm. a drummer. Tap nothing. Ha ha. Tap nothing. Ha ha. Tap nothing. Uh -huh. I'm climbing this damn thing. Uh -huh. My rear. Well, I sure did. I grabbed a hold of that, put a leg over that thing, went in, went off. And I got it about three or four to, times. You got to be strong enough to deter the cows. So I'm sure they had it cranked up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to do. Yeah. Hey, I, I, would, I, would, I would let you shoot me three times with my taser instead of me getting hit with electrical fence. Oh, yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. That is Man. a different type. That is a different type of uh, shocking experience. <laughs> it's kind of funny saying it that way. Yeah, right. Jeez, but, you know, I, I want to know now. I, I want to know. I want to, since I'm back in the. So we got Trimble County Bigfoot. Now, Thomas Shea that lives out here, I'm going to reach out to him about cattle mutilations because he, he he still lives out in the country. So, and ask about that because a uh, bunch of farmers still out here. So, well, you know, like I said, uh, evidently farmers still own that land because they still rotate the crops. This year, it, it's straw. Next year, uh, it's probably soybeans and next year will probably be corn or something right right and if you've never done tobacco ladies and gentlemen you haven't done squat that is hard uh, my is brother grabbed what, the to raise it when, yeah, oh man from start to finish man you gotta plant the samplings and you gotta grab them then i had this girl on this tractor and so the so you they had these seats behind this tractor and the people would sit and this thing came between the legs. I know this sounds funny, but it was, <laughs> and it opened up and it closes and you put the plant in it, the little seedling. Well, I call it the seedling. And what it did, it planted it. And then you had the walkers like me, because I was so young, if they missed it, because it came up and you plant 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 and and as the tractor goes you got three or four people putting them in that 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 sprocket thing mm -hmm. and if they missed it you had to get on your hands and knees dig a hole and plant a seedling and cover it up and go to the next one and that girl man she had a crush on me and she was like and missed one and missed two and i i, I hated it that that summer I hated it. You're on your hands and knees a lot, were you? Yo, I was crawling. And if you never done tobacco from beginning to end, now I was not allowed to cut it because uh, I was too young because of the blades and stuff. Uh, because a lot of people cut themselves. That's how sharp the blades were. And then the the spikes, how they would take the, the sticks of tobacco and put them on the spikes to hang them up in the loft of the barns to dry before they went to market. How do we get on this subject? I don't know. I don't almost, know. It almost sounds like a weed process. Hanging it upside down. 
trying to know. I don't know anything about it, to be honest with you. I just know some friends that were shady. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, sounds sounds similar, though. I didn't know they had to do so, all that. Interesting. Yeah, which show, Yolanda? Oh, Lord, have mercy. But no, but really, it, it just makes me wonder if, if they had any of those events, because like I said, Bobby and I, we did. We saw things that in the sky that didn't make sound. We saw things that didn't add up. And uh, we saw things that made the, the cattle, uh, what do you call it, scary, nervous, nervous, stampede, yeah. you know, in, into an area, congregate. Like like they did on Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah, I remember that time that episode that they were acting all weird and all huddled up away from everything. Yeah, they were acting abnormal. Like they were, and then they end up seeing the uh, oh. UAP. So pretty but pretty yeah. wild. So you know, I I wish I could get a hold of some people I grew up with and ask them to to find out if they ever talked about stuff like that. Because I every, because hold up. No, it's about, I pulled up Chat GPT to ask it about cattle mutilations real fast, and I, I found a few on here I didn't see before. Um, really, Ponderosa they had. Ponderosa, that's it's, a steakhouse. It, the buffet. Yeah, I know, oh, right? You can eat buffet, right? <laughs> well, now we know what they were getting their cattle from. <laughs> Apparently, mutilated ones. It started off with Snippy. He talked about that, and then it says cattle. Uh, Ponderosa says several cattle were found dead, mutilated in New Mexico. The eyes, ears, udders were removed with surgical precision. Like precision again. Rancher owner reported seeing mysterious lights in the area. Uh, Minnesota, 1975, multiple cattle deaths were reported in Minnesota, characterized by similar patterns of mutilation. Organs and body parts were missing, and incisions appeared to be made with precise cuts. Oklahoma, 1979. This case, dozens of cattle were found dead. The unusual, unusual mutilations, including missing organs and body parts, unexplained lights were reported in the area. Fife, Alabama, in 1988. Over a period of several months, numerous cattle were found dead with odd mutilations, such as missing tongues, genitals, and eyes. The case led to an investigation by law enforcement and various theories. Durango, Colorado, 2002. Several cattle were discovered dead and mutilated. In this case, law enforcement ranchers are unable to determine a clear cause for the mutilations. Doesn't go into detail. Argentina, 2002. Reports of cattle mutilations also occurred in other countries, including Argentina. Similar patterns of precise mutilation have been reported. And that was pretty much it that it talks about. And just so that's what I'm saying. I wonder, point. since we've seen strange things in the sky, did they ever have any strange occurrences? I'm, I'm not saying they didn't or they did. I'm just wanting to know if they did. Because yeah, there I was mean, a lot of you, things that... You know somebody in the area, for sure. Yeah, reach out. I don't know if you got any friends still around, but... No, but they do out. have the local newspaper that's still here that I can probably put an ad in. Because uh, Bobby and I, we were pretty tight growing up. So. Is that like a Dear Abby ad? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know, I mean, I wonder if they let me post something. Uh, and I wouldn't, I would like to know because. I mean, you, you figure I graduated in 93, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, the grandchildren my age would know stories at least because uh, the Clarks, you know, they used to fix this breakfast when we got back from squirrel hunting. So, and Bobby had his chores to do sometimes around the farm and, and we used to go out and race the tractors, and we we did stupid stuff too. Don't get me wrong on the farm, but but uh, that really, really makes me wonder. I'm going to ask Thomas Shea about that. Thomas, if you're watching, I'm going to reach out to you. 
He's a big uh, Bigfoot researcher up in Trimble County. And ask about that. Because I, I would like to know what is the purpose behind that. I, I wonder if the government knows. Or excuse me, the G-Man knows. I got to get that in my lingo. G-Man knows about that. Because they have to know. If, if they're actually talking to said ETs, then they have to know what's going on. I have a so. feeling they do. I have a feeling they have a strong... Because why would that sheriff? I, I want. I'd really probably like to buy that book and read about it, what he's talking about. But why would they excusing people out of you know air traffic control? Yeah. Clear, clear the room, you know, and what? So some aliens can come flying in and not be recorded. Uh, it makes you makes you wonder really. I do that. I reach out. Today's what Monday. I reach out, ladies and gentlemen, for Wednesday's night show, and see if I can't get an Amos. Uh, an Amos. <laughs> Am <I'm> sure? <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> Woo wee! Uh, I can't get an answer from Thomas. I know that's going to sound strange. It's like when I did the Nic uh, Nicole bully case. Did you hear about that? Mm -mm. So the girl goes missing in UK. Is this a recent one? Yeah. And the UK police was like, Oh, the Fitbit, you know, we did the scientific test and the Fitbit replicated. We replicated a heartbeat on the body. It was in the water. And this is in, in the uh, inquest report. And I'm like, dude, what? And I'm like, dude, I used to have a Fitbit. And I got an Apple Watch. And I had a Samsung Smart. Right. Year before they're called. I got an Apple Watch. And I'm like, D -d 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 do you know how these things operate? And I'm like, there ain't no way in hell. And I was like, I was like, show me the proof. And everybody in the UK is like, well, they didn't show us the proof. I'm like, because they have no proof. They're like, well, what are you they're... talking about? <laughs> so I went out to Fitbit's uh, website. And I was like, you know what? This is not going to be good enough because it tells you how it actually works. So I actually called them up <laughs> and recorded two conversations in the technical department. And ask them to, to give me an explanation on how the Fitbit works. Then I incorporate it on a deceased body. And, and each of them were like, what? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so you're telling me that if I'm dead and I'm in the water, it's going to replicate a heartbeat. They're like, do what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. That's, that's the question. I mean, I can, I can picture them in the background waving their arms or a flag. I need a supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But how these electronics works, ladies and gentlemen, is the Fitbits got these green lasers. And what they do is they measure the blood rate, the circulation in your capillaries each time your heart beats. And your capillaries restricts and contracts. That is a heartbeat. Kum, 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 kum. And that's how it measures your heartbeat. The only time that a device, Apple, Fitbit, whatever, will not work is if there is space between the contact of the skin and the device, such as water, you're not going to get an accurate reading. And no scientific fashion will water replicate a heartbeat and i got them to say that on the air on on the recording twice and i played it and everybody knew okay was like oh my god mike did you hear what he just played and that was from fitbit mate and you okay police just lied to us the whole time in the inquest oh my god grizzly this is i cannot believe you got and this man these man this stirred up some stuff over in uk i was like thank god i don't live there I'd probably be fishing. I swim with the fishies. 
Question so, more yeah. things there, UK people. <laughs> Question more but, things. But I mean, man, when I played that audio, I had to play it again because they were like, what? And I had I had screenshots of the website showing them. And they were like freaking out. They're like, they lied to us. I'm like, yeah, they lied to you. Because if they would have done the test, they would have had it on video. They would have showed you how we're done. Because when, because when they were telling me this before I took the case, I'm like, BS, that's BS. No, there ain't no way. I know better than that. They're like, how do you, they're like, how do you know? I was like, I had one. I know how those dang things work. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'll take that case on. Ain't that right, Law Law? <laughs> law Law and that's Science Bob. That's that's when I should have had Science Bob to come in with his white suit, white coat, and been like. Today, ladies and gentlemen, do we going to talk about how Fitbit works? <laughs> Grab your cup of tea and biscuits, mate. You know? So, yes. So, but yeah, yeah I action. did. You know, and and uh, it, 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 let me tell you how bad that freaked the UK people out doing the show with me. They didn't want to come back on the air. Uh-uh. Yes. I had to black out their face and they had, they use false names. (laughs) What? And and people in the audience were like, I know that Susie. I know that voice. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, that's so-and-so. And And they're both, they're both text. They're all texting me. They know who we are. I'm like, well, yeah, they know your voice. They know that (laughs) accent. You're already on the first show. Damn it. (laughs) is they were afraid that they were going to get whacked yes yes next time science bob we have a case like this on on a missing person i i am contacting you directly and i'm going to have you to scientifically explain something yes this way it's not grizzly explaining it and I, i i know i gave those two people from fitbit uh Technical support nightmares. Because I mean, I mean, I know, I know, I was a talk for. I'm, I'm still probably their talk. Yeah, man, some guy called. You know, he was talking about. You want to know if we, if 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 if, oh, if, if, if picked up a heartbeat? But what'd you say to him? I was like, why well, couldn't lie? No. Well, well, I was well, like, so, Are you, you, so I well, asked well, him. I was like, I was like, so you're telling me. There's no scientifically way that if I'm dead and I'm in the water, that's going to pick up a heartbeat. And the guy's like, no. I'm like, you <laughs> sure? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Lala says, your question will now be one for training new employees. <laughs> it, it, it did say it was being recorded, too. <laughs> if, you, if you ever get a guy that calls and asks about dead bodies, this is what you say. <laughs> oh, good lord! But you know what? It, it's just that uh, you know when when agencies make mistakes and so forth, we do call them out. You know, because we're human. Or if they try to cover something up, and that case did not set well with me, that's why I took it. So it's just it was just odd. That's all. Yeah, but anyway, but I would check around with some of the Bigfoot people here and uh, and and ask them about if any of the local farmers around here had any, because Thomas has been around here since he was a child, and he's older than I am. So, but I'll find what do you out. We're talking about next week. Yeah, Yolanda, Catherine, Sean. Brian signs Bob la 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 la. What do y'all want to talk about next week? Sean Sean has been on a uh, a dog man kick. Yes, he Uh has. He's got a guy he wants us to bring on. I'm going to check him out. I I I trust Sean's instinct, so uh, we'll take a look. I think his reading uh, that he had a while back ago was about love too. Who's that? Sean? Sean. Sean, didn't you get a reading about love? Don't forget, Lala will be on tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. And we we, we may have to ask Lala about Sean's love and get her little uh, rods out. Have you ever seen her use her rods, man? That is wild. Uh -uh. 
Uh, she's going to cover one of my dolls tomorrow night on the show. Yes. Oh, yeah? She found what out time, that what one time of is my that? dolls, the one with the f messed up face, somebody it's put haunted. her in there. Put her in yeah. where? Inside. The attachment. No, thank you. She asked. <laughs> and then went, they, they smacked her in the face. So, Are those yeah, those like rods that you use to find in water or whatever? Yeah. I can't yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The ones that kind of move whichever way. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, but yeah, but uh, yeah, Lala's got her own show every Tuesday night at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Uh, she's going to do about paranormal, and uh, she wanted uh, uh, she picked up some energy on the doll, and she wanted a picture of the eyes. So I sent her a picture of the eyes of this doll, and she did it on the last show. She's like, "Did somebody put you in there?" And because somebody had to ask if there were ashes in the doll, it really freaked me out because the doll what? was heavy. Yeah, uh -huh. I ain't gonna mention who asked about the ashes. What that the... really freaked me out. I was it's like, a good, it's a good call. No, it's not a good call. I don't well, know. I mean, it's, 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 you said it's heavy. I mean, somebody was just kind of putting the two to two together. So, oh, I, she's I would... already laughing. Yeah, it was a lot of But it was. <laughs> yeah, because when when she was like, "Did somebody put you there?" and I'm like, Bing. <laughs> "Yeah," it hit her in the face, and I'm like, "I'm like, whoa!" And she's probably like, like, "Yeah, do you even like that doll?" <laughs> no, she got but trapped in the doll. Did she did say like. she did say that the well, we'll cover this on the show, but she did say that they were there for protection. I think La La right. So uh, if you don't want to be knowing what's in it, right? I want to know what's in it, but it's heavy because she almost may be. Look, you don't think I'm prepared, ladies and gentlemen. I got scales. I got I got different types of scales. Don't forget, I was a detective, so I got scales for everything. <laughs> yes. That'll be interesting. So, I'll definitely check in and tune in for that one. Yeah. So uh, she's doing it tomorrow night on Paranormal and the Doll and whatever else she wants to. So yeah. Nine p.m. But I, I, I yeah nine p.m. So I was actually going to start weighing the dolls because I told Lala I'm like this doll's a little heavier than the average doll, and that's when somebody in the audience was like, maybe there's ashes. And that really freaked me out. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. I'm sure false alarm. Made a little different. False alarm. False alarm. It was my Apple Watch charger. It smacked me in the leg. <laughs> like, what's I thought going something on touched me. I thought something touched me. It freaked me out. Sorry. It's, yeah, that missing arm found its way back and was touching your leg. <laughs> no, it's still gone. It, 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 Is it, it really? It. Yes. Jeez. I found that one. Remember the other doll was holding it. The evil twin was holding it. Remember, I went to print a shipping label for that uh, warfare kit, the holy war, the war spiritual war, warfare kit. Mm -hmm. I went to mail it out, and, and remember, I told you. Now I know I didn't toss it, but it looked like it tossed it because I moved the other dolls to get to the labels. But it it. And I ain't want to talk about it, man. I'm, I'm getting the goosey boots. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It, it, ladies and gentlemen, this fool was trying to get me. He sent me pictures. <laughs> Seriously, there's dolls for sale for a dollar a piece from an estate. You want to buy some? I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> You're the one that's been buying them, not me. <laughs> oh, science, Bob. I do not underestimate anything of law laws. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt anything. So yes, I don't. That's that's the scary part. So yes, she is great. So yes, absolutely. I believe anything Lala says. Goosey boobs. Is that what I just said? Yep. Did I really? Yeah, that was why I was laughing. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll figure something out. But Wednesday night show, I'll have an answer from Thomas Shea. 
the local Bigfoot guy in the area in Trimble County, and I'll reach out to him about uh, the cattle mutilations and, and find out. So, yeah, tomorrow night show is at 9 o'clock uh, with Law Law. So, yeah, make sure and tune in for that. Uh, I'm kind of, like, excited, but I'm kind of, like, excuse me, nervous because she said I had to take notes. And I'm like, uh -oh. yeah, that's what I said. What do you mean you got to take, take notes? notes? Yeah. You don't have to take notes. You got it recorded. You can just go back and watch it. No, on the doll. <laughs> she oh, said, well, yeah, when I sent her the picture, she said, I'll take notes. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so... Lala's at least we don't talk about oh there we go right into hey, the yeah right tramp the, stamps really oh yeah yeah that yeah that was hilarious I was dying Dad, <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that they didn't know was <laughs> just like and then, and then, then you had, see Michelle down then, there then we had Michelle's then like, we had Lola right decorated plumber's the, crack I'm like oh my yeah, god <laughs> then we had Lola. You know, from Australia, I'm you know, giving us the scientific definition of what that is. You know, and I'm sitting there going, like, are you really seriously defining scientifically with? And she did. And I was like, oh. that is a perfect definition. Yeah, and she, that, nobody she, even laughed. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what in the hell was that? <laughs> it was hilarious. I, mean, I don't know how she, she said all that and made it work. <laughs> I really don't. I know. Michelle was just like, yeah, it's a decorated plumber's crack. I was like, bingo. But anyways, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I oh, do going to have to get it. To, yes, I'm going to have to get a tow truck, a couple of them. Somebody was like, he needs a, he needs a, what in the world, Lola? What? I have no idea. I ain't going to ask her that. That nine, oh, Lord, now, now I got mental images. Yeah, it is a long story, Sean. Anyways, but uh, we'll figure something out, ladies and gentlemen. Fake oregano. I must have. I must have missed the fake oregano. Yeah, hey, we locked people <laughs> up before for for false drugs. Yes, imitation drugs. Absolutely. So, yeah, she took uh, oregano to school to act like she was. You know, yeah. But, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you in trouble too. So, yeah, smoking that oregano will get you every time. <laughs> so, oh, there, there we go. Anyway, we're, we're, we're getting out, but we'll figure something out for the next show. But I'll reach out to Thomas Shea and check on that because uh, that, that that is something I would like to check in in this area because he would know if there is any or has been. Mm -hmm. uh, because, like I said, I did see strange things with Bobby uh, up on his grandparents' farm uh, for many years. So that'd be something good. So anything else you like to add? No, that's about it. Thanks, guys. It's a good, yeah, a fun show as always. Coast and and the around, the, around the earth, the globe, the earth. And the goosey boops. We're out of here. <laughs> good night, ladies good night. and gentlemen. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.